Welcome to part two of the Bitwini tutorial on working with PCB projects in Altium Designer. In today's video, we're going to continue where we left off from part one and begin working with schematic sheets. So let's go ahead and bring open the project that we created in video one. Here you'll see the project in the project navigator. Now we'll double click on the tutorial PCB schematic document here, which will bring it open in the main window. For our schematic, we're going to create a very simple voltage regulator board that will take in one voltage and create two output voltages, 3.3 volts and 1.8 volts. To build our design, we'll need a handful of key components. Luckily, Altium has many of these components and all of the ones that we'll need today built into its integrated libraries. We access these libraries through the library pane over here on the right. Simply click the item that says libraries. This brings open the library pane and now we need to make sure that we have the proper libraries installed for our schematic sheet. We do this by clicking libraries right here which brings open the new window and shows us all libraries installed within our project. For this particular schematic we're going to want voltage regulators from National Semiconductor. So we're going to go into the National Semiconductor library folder within Altium and select NSC LDO. We're also going to use miscellaneous devices and miscellaneous connectors. If you don't already have those installed, those are in the main library folder that comes with Altium. Now you'll see NSC LDO as well as miscellaneous devices and miscellaneous connectors all shown in our installed libraries path. We can now close the library window. With the libraries installed, it's now time to insert the components that we require from the libraries. For us, that will be two different voltage regulators, a couple of capacitors, and a connector. So let's start with the voltage regulators. Now we have the National Semiconductor Library selected here, NSC LDO. For my 1.8 volt regulator, I'm going to use the LM1086 IS dash 1.8 part. So I'll click on it here and click place. Now that's going to help me drag it out here into the main schematic sheet. Before actually clicking it down on the schematic sheet, I'm going to hit tab though, which is going to bring open the component properties. And in here, I'm going to update the designator with U1. Now that I've got that done, I will make sure that I have the correct footprint and click OK. Now I will simply click it to place it down and hit escape so that I'm not placing another copy of that component down. The 3.3 volt regulator I plan on using is the LM1085 IS-3.3. Click that part, click place, and then go ahead and drag it out, hit tab to bring up the component properties, and update the designator with U2. Here we go, we'll click it down, and then hit escape. Now we have our two voltage regulators out. Let's go ahead and place down our connector now. So we'll select miscellaneous connectors, and for this I'm going to find that part a little bit differently. I'm going to simply scroll down through all the components that are available in the miscellaneous connector library and I'm going to click to select the D connector 9. Go ahead and place that out here. Since I didn't hit tab before I placed it, I can double click it which will also bring open the component properties. I'll update the designator for J, as J1 for this part. Final component that I need to add to my schematic is a handful of capacitors. Again, we'll go on the libraries panel here. Now we'll select miscellaneous devices and type in cap. Here there are a few options. I happen to know that I'd like to use a tantalum capacitor, so I'm going to select cap pole, which gives me a schematic sheet symbol that has the plus marking on it to denote a polarized capacitor. 
I also know that I'll be using these in the 805 package. So when I place this out, I'll hit tab to bring open the component properties. Here I'll update the designator to C1, and then I'll make sure that my footprint is the 0805 footprint. I'll place OK. I know that I'd like one of these for input and one of them for output filtering on each of the regulators. As I place these down here, when I place more than one, you'll notice that the designator is updating each time and incrementing, which is one of the ways that Altium helps you out. It's pretty nice. All right, after I have my four capacitors placed, I'll hit escape. And now I have all of the components out that I need for my schematic sheet. All that remains is to wire it up. Let's start our wiring by working on the connector. Now I'd like to wire up the entire bottom row of the nine pin connector to ground. So I'm gonna select the ground port option from the toolbar above and place it down on the schematic sheet just like every other item I've already placed down. To wire those pins up to ground now, I'm simply gonna hit the P key on my keyboard. P is in place, which is gonna bring up the place menu and then I'm gonna select wire from that menu. This will allow me to draw the wiring as I would like it, which is each of these lower pins going to ground. I'm also going to connect the case pins, 10 and 11, to ground as well. Every time there's a connection between nets, you'll see this big circle show up, which shows you that these two nets are connected. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more wires to my connector here, which is going to allow me to connect these, the upper row of pins on the nine pin connector to my input and output voltages. And I'm gonna do that by placing nets on these pins, on the wires that I just created. So I'm gonna hit the P as in place key again, and this time select net label. Now I'm gonna hit tab, and in here, type in VCC, click OK, and now I'm gonna place that VCC label on pin six and seven. I'm gonna hit tab once again, and type in 3.3 volts, hit OK. I'm gonna place that on pin eight, tab one last time, type in 1.8 volts and place that net label on pin nine. Hit escape and now our connector is all wired up. Okay, let's move on to wiring up our voltage regulator parts. So for each of the regulators, I know that I'm gonna to wanna to place a ground. I'm also gonna to wanna to place an entry for the input voltage, VCC, and an entry for the output voltage. In the case of U1, that's gonna be with the 1.8 volts, and in the case of U2, it's gonna be the 3.3 volts. I'm gonna do this by selecting VCC power port from the toolbar above, just as I did with the ground. The input is gonna be VCC, so I'm going to go ahead and add that on the left side of each of these components. Then I'm gonna hit tab, and change the net value to 3.3 volts and place it on the right side of U2. Tab once again, change the net to 1.8 volts and place it on the right side of U1. With these net labels in place, the power ports in place, we're now ready to wire up the voltage regulators. So we'll hit place, P is in place, wire, wire VCC to the input, also to C1, my input filtering capacitor. 
then going to wire output to 1.8 volts and to C2, my output filtering capacitor. Let's go ahead and make the connection between our grounds. I'll do the same thing for U2. The final step here is going to be to add the net label for the tab. For those of you that don't know, the tab voltage is the same as the output voltage. So we're going to do exactly as we did on the connector, place a wire coming off, and then place a net label. on those pins. Now we're going to go ahead and go to File, Save, which saves our schematic sheet. And just like that, we've completed our simple voltage regulator schematic sheet that takes an input voltage, VCC, and generates two output voltages, 3.3 volts and 1.8 volts. Stay tuned for part three in this video series, where we'll create the PCB artwork for our design. For this video and many related helpful articles on PCB design, DSP, and FPGAs, be sure and check out bitweenie.com. That's all for today. Thanks.